guys. Hello. Hi. How are you guys feeling? Congratulations on season two. How's it feel for you guys? Feels great. I'm excited for everybody to see it. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a, it's been a journey. We I think the first season the anxiety level was very high at it's first. Like, uh, how are they gonna react? You know, yeah, like, are people gonna like us or not? And uh, luckily, you know, halfway through the season, it finally came out and, and people were really responding to what we were doing. So this season was nice because we kind of just got to say, okay, the pressure's off a little bit. We can kind of dig into these characters and do kind of fun new stuff with them. So uh, it, it's definitely a little easier coming to work this time around. For sure easier because last season, the first season, we were shooting episodes still while episodes were airing, which mm -hmm. is a completely different experience when you can hop on Twitter and the show is trending. You're like at work, like, okay so this one a little more peaceful a little easier a little less stressful it's great that's awesome very nice well generically speaking do you guys feel that there's anything in particular that the viewers are going to take away and walk about in terms of what's to come with season two and also not trying to spoil anything but just overall thematically speaking uh, I think generally the idea is that every character when we sat down and kind of conceptualized the second season, the idea was every character needs to have their own individual arc, uh, uh, an aspirational track that they find themselves on and and that evolution of their characters and every whether it's relational, uh, professional, interpersonal, familial, um, everybody is going to be different from the beginning of the season to the end of the season. And whether that's introducing new characters, uh, people for us to interact with and, and the conflict that arises out of that. Um, or just the uh, ridiculous hijinks we find ourselves in. Um, there's going to be a, a, a lot of ground to cover in just 10 episodes. So it's going to be it's going to be dense. I'm very excited for people to see it. Hopefully we can just keep breaking the Internet by making Miranda say cuss words. That's kind of yeah. <laughs> number one thing. Perfect response. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, agreed. Uh, my next question is for um, Jaden. You are the youngest member of the cast. What is it like to be able to work with so many talented older actors? What is that like for you? I think that the knowledge passed down from Nathan, Jerry, Miranda, and Lacey, I've taken that to heart and used it when it comes to my acting. And it really helps whether it's the way that I say a line or the way that I walk out, um, out of the door or something like that. It just really helped evolve me to the actress that I am right now. Awesome, very nice, beautifully said. And then my final question to all of you guys is, do you guys have any favorite onset memories? I know that the cast has always been very small and tight knit and I can, it's obvious that you guys have remained very close with one another. Were there any fun onset memories that you guys would care to share? Mm. Um, I remember when I first met everyone, it was kind of like a spark and I knew that everybody was going to be like my best friends. Everybody is so nice. Like <laughs> it was just the best set that I've ever been on um, in my entire life. And I just felt something as soon as I met all of them. Oh, Jay. Jay. <laughs> oh. Uh, I love playing and joking around with the cast. Uh, Paramount, where we shoot currently, or where we shot these past two seasons, is very cold. It's like one of like the oldest lots. Like uh, the our sometimes our state our sound stages are either just like freezing cold or it's like hell hot. Sorry, Jaden. Um, but when it was really <laughs> cold, there's a there's a gift shop on set, the Paramount gift shop, where a bunch of us had bought Paramount jackets, and then we all started wearing them around at the same time. I lost mine, um, and then I tried to steal Nathan's, and Nathan, as an adult, was, I guess Nathan has two children, so maybe this was the dad hopping out, but I tried to steal Nathan's jacket, and when I opened it up, he had written in silver Sharpie, like, Nathan <laughs> on the inside of the jacket. I'm like, Nathan, you are a grown man. And I was going to change it to like La Nathia and be like, that's not the thing. <laughs> that's our I was determined name. to steal his jacket. <laughs> 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 like, this is mine. <laughs> Spoiled by the silver Sharpie. <laughs> Spoiled by the silver Sharpie. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for taking the opportunity to speak with us on behalf of News by Muse. We're all huge fans. I grew up with the show. You guys are killing it. And best of luck praying for season three. Thank you so much, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Nice to meet you. Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye.